Good morning, LC people. Well, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been uh, watching my posts of late. Keep doing your likes and subscribes. This morning I've got a few hours spare, so I've come up to a conundrum. Now, some of you have seen my posts already about the compressed air in an exhaust, keeping the air in and using the blow lamp to heat it up and the compressed air popping out the dents. Uh, this situation, I've adapted it. Uh, it was another one off of an LC dam pipe, cut off and bolted to the existing one that's normally on the pipe. With me bits and pieces there, as you've probably seen before. Anyway, I'll put that away. It won't work for this pipe. This is an all speed. It doesn't have the collar there. The back end, I'm not sure I'm going to block that up yet. Now, I'd bought this piece of equipment. It's a leak down test piece of equipment that plumbers have. Um, basically it's quite robust in metal and with two rings on it now what you do is you screw down the wing nut and that should block off the hole as you know as you compress all that the rubber expands and basically should make it airtight now there's a cap on the top of there that screws on there there's a hole in there look so to get the air into it for that side this is the cap it didn't have an hole in it as you can see it's got a rubber sealing washer in there Alright, eh? that's what I'm going to do. Drill the hole in there, uh, old bike in a tube, cut the tube off of it, and basically make that fit on top of there. A little O ring, and then the sealing washer you normally get on that valve, followed by the nut. Screw that together on there, and that will then go into that situation, tighten the wing nut up, fingers crossed. It'll be airtight, or it'll be pretty good. Uh, the next conundrum is the back there. I've not thought about that yet. I need to give that some thought. But this pipe's got quite a few dents in it. One there. There's one round the back there. There's another one there. I think there's another one in here. There's a, so there's a few on it. Rather than cut it up and make it a dog's dinner. I know it's already looked like somebody's had a go already. At the mounting bracket there. Um, that's my plan for a few hours this morning. But initially, it's making the equipment to make it airtight. Um, it's getting the things. I don't think there's companies out there that specifically make parks to block pipes up. I've not seen them. Maybe in the States, but not over here in the UK, I haven't. I've watched various videos about this, this job over the last few years. Guys make it look very, very simple. But to get the parts together is normally glossed over. How do they think about it? What do they use? How do they do it? Um, all people's comments can lead you in a direction. Hence the leak down bit. I hadn't thought of this because I'm not a plumber. But people in various other industries will have ideas and fixes to do these. Uh, but Dave's just trying to think on his wits here and see what he can come up with to do it. I will succeed because... I'm not one of the kind of people that's going to say, oh, no, that's too much hassle. I'll keep trying the situation till I get the equipment good enough to keep the air in this pipe. And then it'll be the blow lamp and the continuous pressure, as I've posted before. Anyway, folks, if you like Dave's fixes or the way Dave tries to do things, keep watching the channel. Because there's always something else I'm trying to think about to do as the problems arise. Okay, folks, thanks for watching. Dilly dilly.